In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to remove scareware viruses that may infect your computer. Now by scareware, we mean viruses that basically mimic legal antivirus programs and take over your machine, asking you to either pay money to have them removed or to download further spurious bits of software. One such example of uh, a piece of scareware is this Met Metropolitan Police um, scareware virus. What this does, it takes over your computer and says you've been looking at illegal websites and says you need to pay money via Ucash in order to have the virus removed. Of course, this is all fake, and if you were to pay any money, all you'd be doing is giving the hackers your credit card details and ending up probably losing more money. So how do you remove these viruses? Often they take over your computer and prevent you from doing simple actions like clicking on the start button or even running your web browser. So how do you remove these viruses? The trick to removing them is to restart your computer in safe mode um, and to do this you can if you've got access to the computer and you can you can restart it you can click on start shut down and restart now if you do not have this option if the virus is taken over your computer you might have no choice but to press the power button hold it down for a few seconds and the computer will turn off you can then power the computer back on and we're going to take you through this now so if I click restart the machine is going to shut down now, and very important, as soon as the computer starts to boot up, you need to repeatedly tap the F8 key on your keyboard. So I'm going to start doing that now, and you can see it's come up with this menu here. This is the, the boot menu, and it asks you what you want to do. We need to select safe mode with command prompt, not safe mode or safe mode with networking, safe mode with command prompt. Okay. So you need to use the arrow keys on your keyboard, highlight safe mode with command prompt, and press the enter or return key on your keyboard. Uh, it might ask you which operating system you wish to to load. Select your version of Windows. Press enter. And safe mode will start up and it will it will look a little strange. It will load lots of um weird and wonderful drivers. But effectively all it's doing is starting your computer with the most basic possible settings and it's going to open up a command prompt window which is going to let you type commands and this is quite important because the virus will probably stop you from using your computer in the normal way and from using the, the normal features that you'd expect to use but safe mode with command prompt usually gives you the option to use your computer without the virus getting in the way and we can use this to counteract the virus effects so the computer is now starting up um, if you've got a username or a password you'll need to log in I'm just doing that now and it's going to take a little while to log in you'll see here that the command prompt window has appeared and nothing else has happened what you can do here is you can use this window to launch a system restore now if you're using Windows Vista or 7 all you need to do to launch a uh, system restore is type in RSTRU I dot exe and press enter if you're using windows xp which we are here you have to put in the full file path which is simply c colon backslash windows system 32 restore and then rstrui dot exe press enter and it launches the system restore window now what you need to do here is you'll see it says restore my computer from an earlier time you click the next button and it will show you system checkpoints now what we need to do here is restore the computer to a time before the virus actually came into effect um, and this is the only way really to get to get around the, the, the negative effects of the virus so if for example looking at my calendar here if my computer was infected on the 22nd I can see that I've got a system restore point on the 20th okay so I would select that it's very it's important to try and choose the most recent restore point it's, it's also important to note that when you do a system restore you're not actually going to lose any files okay it's not going to remove any documents or files on your desktop what it is going to do is going to roll back your settings so you can see here that this was when some software was installed in the computer so this is going to restore the computer back to a time before that software was, was installed and if there was anything that was installed afterwards like for example the virus 
that will be removed. So it will affect settings and installations, but it won't affect your files, your documents, or any essays or anything like that you've been working on. So if we choose Wednesday the 20th and click Next, it will now say to you that uh, it's going to try and try and restore back to this point. Click Next again. And it will begin the system restore process. This will take quite some time, and during which the computer will log off, shut down, and continue with system restore. This sh will probably take up to around about five minutes on most systems, but it, I suggest just leaving it doing it because it will take a little while. Once it's restored, the computer will restart automatically, um, and all you'll need to do is log back into it and start Windows as normally. Um, so if it gives you any option to restart with safe mode, just just make sure that you select restart normally. Restart the computer as you normally would, log in, and you should find that when you're on your desktop, the virus is no longer present. What I would suggest doing after you've done this is running uh, a full virus scan with your, your virus scanner. A good free one you can use is Malwarebytes, um, which you can download from the web from the internet. Um, and this will work fine on a personal computer. Um, and once you've run the virus scan and removed any things that it picks up, you should find that your computer is, is, is relatively, relatively clean and you should be able to carry on working. If you have any further questions on this, please contact the IT Help Desk. Thank you.